Okay, now patience. Uh, I just want to share with you, I mean, that's all kind of how we function and who we are, but this is who we're there for. And, and as I said, a lot of what we do are the same things that we do here. But most of the population in San Lorenzo is very poor. And so if they can't find their, if they can't get their health care in San Lorenzo, they don't get it at all. They don't get it at all. Most of them cannot afford to leave San Lorenzo to look for health care somewhere else. And even if they can get out, they can't afford, be it surgery or whatever they need in another place. So if they can't get it with us, they don't get it at all. And so we tend to see a lot of things that are just more advanced than we see here. Same problem, just a little farther along when it comes to us. Um, we do a lot of thyroid surgery in San Lorenzo, and this is just a goiter or an enlarged thyroid gland. Uh, but this lady had had this for about 12 years, and they, she'd been told that uh, there was nothing to do about it. She'd have to live with that for the rest of her lives, and somebody sent her to the clinic. And so we were able to, to remove that. I don't have a good post-op picture of her. Breast cancer. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to warn you, for those of you who don't care for more graphic pictures. Most of the next pictures that are coming up, if you, wanna, if you don't like this stuff, if you want to look away. Um, this is a woman who had this mass for eight years. She actually lived next to one of our employees, and, and uh, Maruhita finally finally got her to come in. And uh, I think the next picture is an intraoperative, a picture in the OR if you don't want to see it. Well, I guess it's just. So we did, a, we did a mastectomy. That was four or five years ago, and she's still, she's still, uh, she's still alive. This, this, this is Luis Bravo, and he was involved, I think he was about a year and a half. This is last May. He was involved in a, a fire, and we think it was, pro it was probably a fire related to drug processing. Anyway, he had a lot of scarring on his arm and got a, a contracture of his arm, scar tissue that he couldn't, he couldn't extend his arm out. And I don't have a picture of him before surgery, but we had the great privilege of having Jeff Randolph with us in May. And so we did uh, a pedicle flap, which we took some, we, Dr. Randolph, not we, Dr. Randolph did this for us, um, lifted up a piece of skin and soft tissue from his chest wall, straightened that arm out, took the scar tissue off, straightened that arm out, and uh, covered it up with this piece of, piece of tissue. And we left him like that for about three weeks. And then three weeks later, uh, we operated on him again, and then what you end up doing is transferring that piece of tissue over onto his arm. And so he's, he's doing quite well now. This is a normal uterus and ovaries. And that's about, about the normal size. And uh, I had a young woman in her 20s who came to see me with a mass in her upper abdomen, up around her ribs. And this is she. Uh, she's not pregnant. All that is her uterus. And so the thing, the thing that you could feel up around her liver and her ribs was her uterus. So, and this thing was bigger than my head. So like I say, it's the same problems we see here, just a little more advanced. This is venous stasis, or a venous ulcer gone bad. Once again, we see this here. This guy's had this process going on for 20 years. And uh, you can see uh, the problem that it's caused in his foot. And there you can just kind of see what that leg looks like compared to his other leg. Uh, 